Okay, welcome back to JJ Rick's Rose with Waymo. We are going to the depot. Destination updated. Going to the Mesa Waymo Depot. We're gonna go chill out over there for about five seconds and then leave immediately. Uh, but yeah, we're still in the depths of Tempe here at the, holy cow, look at how many pedestrians are on screen. <laughs> we are cruising through ASU. I am rambling incoherently, and we're having a good time. We are going 10 miles per hour. For some reason. Maybe that's the speed limit over here. I don't know. Maybe I should look. Or maybe we're just being cautious because there's there's a lot of impaired visibility around here, so. Anyway, that's Ga that's Gamage Auditorium on the left side there. <laughs> Apparently Beetlejuice is showing right now. I wonder if that's any good. Maybe I should go see it. I mean, I like the movie, but hold on. There's a dude practicing trombone over there. Cool. Can check my GoPro battery. 30%. Will it last? Yeah, I think so. Until I get to the depot. I'll probably swap the battery out when I get to the depot, but I don't want to hang around at the depot for too long. I mean, a Waymo at the Waymo depot isn't that suspicious, but... I, I'm not going to publish the video, but I did actually go over to the depot and there was a glitch where you could set your destination as inside the depot so I tried it out and it just pulled up to the door and stopped uh, luckily somebody was standing right there and fixed it so that was stupid anyway I I just had to try it before they patched it out which they did the following day so wonderful I mean, if you want to see the inside of that depot, I do have a video of that. So we have been in there officially, uh, and it is very cool. Uh, and yeah, that that was a very awesome trip. Back in November, Waymo invited me out to try out downtown Phoenix as the first public customer. I got to ride with uh, ride with Reed. We, we had a cool chat. And then we went to the depot, did a tour, did an interview. People people actually flew out to Phoenix for that, in, in some respects. Um, I mean, I'm told they did other stuff while they were here, but that was awesome. I, I regret not looking, not being more excited in the depot tour video, because that was that was really cool. I don't know what I was what I was thinking, or why I was so lame as a as a host in that video. But that'll be one of my regrets for a while. But oh dear, yeah. The set. I mean, maybe I I was just trying to hide my excitement. I don't know. But I just kind of shut down. I started saying lame stuff, and I, even now I'm still. The, the point is, I'm not good at talking. Uh, I need to write it down and edit it, and then it's, sound, then it's fine. If you want to see what my edited speech sounds like, go watch Dear Waymo. That's a, that's a pretty good video. I mean, I'm told my target audience saw, pretty much everyone at Waymo saw that. I don't know how true that is, 
but that does make me very happy if it at least if it is at least sort of true. So, because that was the idea, and even if it, even if they're just not expanding east for logistic reasons, and it's some really boring thing about you know service uptime for and wait time versus service quality and whatever. Eh. I don't know. The, rail, the Those railroad tracks are my Waymo conspiracy theory. I'll, I'll hold on to that one. Several Waymos around Tempe here. Not as dense in Chandler, which makes sense. But always glad to see them more around here. Through the light. We are being taken pictures of. I tried to photo bomb that one, I don't think it works. Oh. Just take a picture, not even looking at us? Okay. I don't get it. People take all these pictures and stare at these cars and gawk at them if they don't care that they can ride in the cars. Maybe they just don't know. Waymo's trying. PR is hard. As Cruz has shown us, PR is hard. But... <laughs> not to not to be calling out Cruz, but I'm a little salty they rug pulled me still. But you know. stepped out in front, we would have slammed on the brakes. That was a nice right turn. Cool. Going over two lanes. Why are we still slowing down? Why are we turning here? Okay, we just avoided going straight through Broadway. That's one of these things that mostly disappeared at, at the end of the Pacifica era was those really, really weird detours, but they still linger. And I wonder how many of those disengagement zones from the old era have been removed. I know a couple of them that have, but... Yeah. A couple of things still drive me crazy with Waymo's disengagement zones that the Intel Ocotillo campus is still in the service area but not available. So I, I, I don't understand why they drew a line specifically around Intel Ocotillo campus and then proceeded not to let you go there. If I were 
going to make an argument, I would say that going straight on Broadway Road would actually be less difficult than routing around that random section there and then making a unprotected right turn. But obviously there's some there's some sneaky logic there that I don't really get, so I'm not gonna complain about it too much. It still looks bad though. Well, of course, you know, you could argue for safety versus efficiency, and there's the fine line, and that could go all the way to all the, all the way in either direction, but. It seems to be that the longer your ride is, the more efficient it is cost-wise. And for whatever reason, I was just testing that same route that I took from the southeast corner of the service area all the way to the airport. And it's, I think it's like $10 cheaper than it used to be. Which, props to you Waymo, thank you for that. <clears throat> seems like the shorter rides are more expensive and then the longer they get, the more... Uh, the lower they get on cost per mile, which makes sense if you're if you're you know interfacing with the public here. That if if somebody tries to take a ride to the airport and the car doesn't take the freeway, which doubles the amount of time that it takes to get there, then you know if if your ride is like fifty dollars, somebody's gonna flip out and go what what. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's smart. I appreciate it. And if I if I let this car end my trip, it will cost me an extra twenty dollars or something to fifteen or twenty dollars. And so the more stops I add to this trip, the more efficient it gets. Which is, which is why I like to record these videos in a big block like this. Because so far this whole this whole thing is only twenty five bucks which is only halfway through what you guys donated for videos, which is really awesome, by the way. Thank you for that. Um, so I'm trying to make best use of your of your money, putting your money to work here. Uh, okay, we are brought, we're turning into Broadway 101 Commerce Park here. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this stop. Uh, fry and head back to fries. Uh, gonna make an unprotected left. <clears throat> and I'm basically gonna just end the video the second we get to the depot because I can't make the car stop without being charged an extra fifteen dollars or something. So yeah. But we'll get to glimpse at the depot for a moment here, which is, you know, fun. Um, so it's playing a game of chicken with the with the app and rescheduling stuff. Uh, trying to almost there. Yeah. Don't forget your belongings. Okay. There's a roadside assistance fan. One, go. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Oh. Destination updated. The Pacificas are almost gone. Oh my gosh, there's a couple left, but. Yeah. Well, that's sad. Look, there's one that's been torn apart. Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna actually wait. Hey, look, it's some roadside assistance vans. They have the lights in them. <laughs> nice. There's another one, another one. 
Okay, I'll probably end the video when we get to, uh... Yeah, this is a good point. Okay, alright. Sorry, I didn't stop the car, but I'll, uh, see you guys later. Bye!